Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Mila Richardson. Labor shortages have been a hot topic for big and small firms alike, but there's a particular job that is hitting Main Street families particularly hard, and that is the lack of school bus drivers. Because there are fewer bus drivers, school districts have had to cut routes, they've had to like double up on kids on buses, and often parents are left scrambling trying to get their kids home and to school on time. So we dove deep into the ADP payroll data to to find out what's going on with school bus drivers and to really compare their cap headcount before and after the pandemic. Here are the three things that we found. One, school bus drivers tend to be older and less well paid than the typical US worker. In fact, over 50% of school bus drivers in our sample were over 55 and one in five drivers were over 65. So that really calls into question this idea that everyone's retiring early. In fact, there are some who are very much in the workforce, very present uh, as of today. We also found that school bus drivers tended to be male with 62% of the sample being male, compared to 38% of women. And then finally, that school bus drivers were less paid than the typical worker. They make about $23 an hour compared to $31 an hour, which is the national average. The second thing that we found in terms of pre and post pandemic headcount for bus drivers is that they had were one of the professions that were the hardest hit by the pandemic. Numbers actually plummeted as schools shuttered around the country in the early days of the pandemic, and they have not returned nearly to pre-pandemic levels. In fact, going into the fall of this year, uh, bus driver numbers were down 13% compared to pre-pandemic. And then the final finding that we had is that age matters a lot for bus drivers, but not in the way that you would think. In fact, the people who've left this profession in the greatest numbers have been those aged 25 to 35. We've actually seen a 30% decline in school bus drivers of this age throughout the 2021 school year. Who stayed or come back? It's those bus drivers over 55. They just saw a small drop in their headcount early on. And now they're actually up higher than pre-pandemic levels heading into the fall. So the takeaway here is that schools, yes, are reopening in person, and that's very good news, but oftentimes they are reopening with fewer teachers, support, services uh, professionals, and bus drivers than they had before the pandemic. And that's caused the school day to be a lot more uncertain for working families and parents who are also trying to get to work. Thank you for watching the Main Street Macro. For more information on the week ahead, please go to adpri.org.